Imagine feeling alone, yet you're still in a relationship. If you were to describe your relationship with one word, it would be punching back. Or, or even if you woke up every morning with different bumps or bruises, or even a black eye. What I'm describing to you guys is abuse in a relationship, and it happens every day. According to a survey taken by the University of Oregon, 50% of, of you know someone who is currently or has been abused in their life. Um, abuse doesn't just take place in relationships between two people, but also happens in family. This is my grandma and me when I was little. And my grandmother's dad was an admiral of the USS Virginia and was also an alcoholic. He wasn't abusive physically, but mentally, and downgraded everyone in the family on a daily basis. What main points I'm going to be going over with you today are what domestic violence is, different types of abuse, and go over different organizations that help abuse victims. Domestic violence is defined as being abuse against a spouse or a partner within the home. According to an article titled Domestic Violence and Abuse, posted to helpguide.org, domestic violence is used generally for the purpose to gain control over someone or to downgrade them. Domestic violence does not just take place in, well, domestic violence does not discriminate, but it takes place in heterosexual, homosexual relationships, all ethnic backgrounds, all age ranges, and economic levels. This is three-year-old Matic Yunsun O'Callaghan. He was adopted from South Korea by Brian and Jennifer O'Callaghan in October 2013. Unfortunately, Matic died months after his arrival from South Korea due to skull fractures, bleeding to the brain, eye hemorrhaging, trauma to the scrotum, and other evidence of blunt force trauma. Uh, Maddox's dad was charged with first-degree murder and uh, child abuse resulting in a death. And what's really sad is that he was also a U.S. Marine, so it goes to show that really anyone can be an accuser. What domestic violence is? Domestic, and according to an article titled Domestic Violence Facts, composed by the NCADV, the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, an estimated 1.3 women are physically and mentally abused by someone they're either dating each year. Also reported by the NCADV, a boy who views his parents taking a place in an abusive activity is more likely, or is twice as likely, to show abuse in his life. There's also an economic impact by abuse, which is $5.8 billion each year. 1 point, or 4.1 of which is directly for mental and medical health services. Different types of abuse. Um, according to Project PAVE, which is promoting alternatives to violence through education, there are six different types of abuse. Physical abuse, which is hitting your face, throwing things, or physically hurting you. Emotional abuse, which are put downs and making you feel bad about yourself. There's verbal abuse, which is yelling, shouting, or swearing. Economic abuse, which is withholding money or forcing you to quit your job or even putting all the bills in your name. Mental abuse, which are mind games and manipulating for sex. And sexual abuse, which is rape and unwanted sexual touching. There's also different organizations that are out there to help you if you are being abused. The Joyful Heart Foundation is one of them, which was founded in 2004 by Marushka Hagate, who is also, who's known as Olivia Benson on Law and Order's Special Victims Unit. From her making the show, made her realize what a big problem abuse is, so she actually wanted to start a foundation helping abuse victims. Um, designed on the background of Hawaii, where Marushka had her first awakening, which was helping sexual assault survivors heal and reclaim a sense of peace and joy in their lives. And ever since the start of her um, organization, she's raised over $14 million towards supporting the healing and wellness programs for, for abused women. Another organization is called the Safe Horizon which collects donations for abused victims. It also takes requests from women and children that are being abused to move them to abuse shelters to help them reclaim and start a new life. 
It also provides support, advocacy, and emergency shelters for people being abused. In conclusion, we are all college students, and with the statistics of 70% of college students being sexually coerced, provided by the NCAEB, we should all stop, faith, and be safe. My main points was what domestic violence is, different types of abuse, and I've even gone over different organizations that help abuse victims. So lastly, I'll leave you with a quote. In domestic violence situations, fighting back is not your answer. A safe exit is, by Dr. Thurl.